Actually, on the show, they've only said the title of the show once. Really? Yeah, well, who the hell can they say, like, what do they say, like, uh, cheers, like, hey, I guess we're here, here we are, cheers. <laughs> That's true, huh? It, yeah. it says it at the beginning, yeah, so I was like, yeah. So how did you guys come up with the idea of the show? It's kind of a novel concept. Yeah, And well, there's lots of exposure for Gibson, of course. Well, it wasn't, I mean, the idea for the show was basically I, I wanted to do something with music because I, I, I went to music school. I first started out, I thought I was going to become like a full-time musician, and then I didn't know what I wanted to do with music and stuff, and I graduated from music school, and when I graduated, um, I started doing stand-up comedy and started doing all kinds of stuff in Boston, and, uh, and just kept kind of working around with music and trying to figure out someplace, and I wrote the music for this other show that I created called Home Movies, and it was just really silly, sloppy stuff, and, um, that was appropriate for the show. And then uh, that show was finished and we were done with that. And then me and Tommy Blotch of the co creators went out. We'd just been seeing metal shows all the time. And, no one, and that's how I met Tommy, is no one would go see like hardcore death metal shows or, or extreme metal shows with me, except for Tommy. And me and Tommy just, just love metal, and we always have. And why? Uh, why? Yeah. I don't know. Well, I mean, like, why? Why? I don't think it's really answered why to like a genre or to not like a genre. I mean, like, like what's your favorite style of music? Everything. Why? Because I just enjoy music. Okay, well, I guess that's yeah. the same. Yeah. You just enjoy it. No, and not, and not, not defensively, but metal is, um, metal is aggressive, and it's not, it's not trying to hit any kind of market. It's, it's simply what it is. I mean, everything. Uh, I don't know. I mean, this will be fun to edit just because. Um, it's aggressive and it's kind of awesome and, and it's like, I don't know, I'm a big fan of horror movies. Ah, uh, I think, I think it kind of works like, together. Well, I mean, I think that it all kind of plays into the show too because um, the show has a lot of horror movie elements, a lot of like, like you know, pretty hardcore mutilation and, and just, you know... Pretty, In a comic sort of way. Well, it's slapstick. I mean, it, it, actually it is. I mean, there are people, like, hundreds of people die in an episode. Like, in, uh, at the opening of a show, we killed thousands of people. And it's a grand act of slapstick. That's the way we look at it. Not as a, a horror. I mean, I mean, not as a, as a horrible thing. It's like in, like, a kind of a black comedy kind of a way. You know, so, um, so, yeah, so I think that, uh... Do you do body counts? You don't like it? People have. I, I don't... I don't keep track of it. I don't have time. <laughs> we killed some of the people on the show, but um, but I think there are websites that are dedicated to that. Mm -hmm. um, but um, you I, could actually win an award with the most body counts, the Chainsaw Awards. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh. We'd probably be up there, to be honest. But I mean, I, I think it all fits in the same place. I, I consider it entertainment. I don't. Cons uh, I mean, they're one of my favorite bands. Is a band called Cannibal Corpse. And I'd love to listen to them because it's, when I listen to their songs, they're all about, they're about dying. I mean, a lot of their philosophies are these, a lot of the, their song structures are revolve around these horrible, horrible death scenes almost. Like, they're almost describing a death scene from a movie or something. And it's like watching a, a slasher film or something. So you're sitting there in your car, stuck in traffic, almost feeling like you're watching a movie. So right. I, see, I see it all kind of falling in the same place. It's entertainment, you know? And... Um, and, it's, and not only that, um, it's really, really heavy also. And music, metal has gotten heavier over the, the last, like, 15 years, too, compared to, like, the metal of, like, the um, 80s and early 90s and stuff. They just keep tuning lower and getting scarier and stuff, and I love it. I'm really happy to see people really playing their guitars, because I'm just a geek for guitar playing. So that's why, that's why metal, that's why I like all that stuff. <laughs> I, love to, I, love, I love when people are really good at their instruments. That makes me happy. To see do you play like, too? Yeah, I write all the music for the show too, yeah. Wait, so you do the music as well as the comedy writing? Yeah, I do the voices, I do the music, and I do the, the writing. You're like a one-person show. That's, I mean, this is a, yeah, except for I have people that work on the show. <laughs> there's another write, there are, no, yeah, there's, but I do all the music myself. I pretty much go away and I write it and... I come back and it's done and I record it all in my own studio and I do all the, if you want to call them vocals, I do the, the scary sounding things myself, but uh, yeah, but I play like four of the main characters uh, on the show, 
And uh, yeah, it's just it's basically it's 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 all done here in Hollywood. And uh, go ahead. Yeah, I'll see who it is. But um, yeah, so that's why I mean, I, that, that's why I went to music school. Remember? That's right. From earlier. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know they were listening because they learn how to listen to music properly. I'm just laughing because we, we had done with, one with Andy Dick. Yeah. He kept answering his phone and he says, Hi, I'm in an interview. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll call you back. Yeah, and it was so funny. So he kept doing that. So we just left it as part of the interview. Hi, I'm in an interview. Yeah. <laughs> it was just kind of funny. Um, so what's your favorite character to play? Um, I don't even, you know what, we don't discuss which characters we play on this show, we, we don't, I don't even tell people really who I play, I'd rather <gasps> oh. not let them know, so. Oh, that's kind of wild then. Well, I mean, I think, I don't think it's that interesting to, to see who, I mean, like, the, the whole idea of the show is to not really, um, know too much about the people that are doing it, uh. I, don't want to, I don't want to be filmed doing the voices, I don't want to be filmed okay. playing the music of that stuff. And I just think it makes the show cooler if, if the less you know about it, you know. That's kind of an interesting perspective. But I don't know. With, the I just, the mystery everyone, behind it. I think everyone gives away the behind the scenes stuff so often that um, it's, it just has diminishing returns at the end of the day, you know. So, so. Who, who's the most interesting special guest you've had on there? We've had a lot of very interesting special guests on the show. Um, we uh, got into work with I got to actually, if you want to call it directing, I don't know if they call it, I don't know if it actually makes, it's the same kind of directing as movie kind of directing. It doesn't really hold the same weight because you're asking someone to just repeat lines over again. But I've gotten to direct um, some really amazing bands. I got to direct Metallica, James Hetfield, and Kirk Hammett. Um, now that's um, probably like a dream for you. It is very cool. I was very I mean, nervous. It's... They were very cool. Oh, they were very nice. Um, Mark Hamill is on the show. Ah. You know, he is amazing, a really great, uh, really great actor, very nice guy. What's he up to? We haven't, I mean, we don't he's, see him enough. That's his business. This, he, he does voice. He goes from one session to another, and he's, and you realize why when you work with him, because he's really, really good, and, and, uh, just can do tons of voices, and he just gets voiceover work. It's, it's the best job you can have if you can, if you can get a lot of it. Really? No, oh, absolutely. Why is that? Because, um... Because uh, it's easy, it's mm -hmm. fun, and you you get to add a lot of creativity, and, and it doesn't take that long. So basically, someone says like, "Hey, go talk," and I go, "I can do that." And I'll go do that. And I'll come right back. And how much are you gonna pay me? Good, fine, thank you. I'd love to be a full-time voiceover guy. I have to actually, in order for me to get voiceover work, usually what I have to do is create a television show and cast myself into into the show as a character. Ah. Uh -huh. And that's what I do. Yeah. You know, who else started? Matt Damon and, uh, oh, okay, Matt Damon and Ben Affleck did that. Did remember, remember when they first did their show with Robin Williams? What was that show? show. Years ago? You mean the movie? The yeah. movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, remember? It's like, well, we were having a hard time finding a job, so we wrote some parts for ourselves. Yeah, well, I'm sure that that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, I mean, yeah, I, I'm that, but the, the kind of, the lame, dorky way of doing that, basically, with cartoon voiceover, yeah. But it's a great job. Voiceover stuff is fun. So, how do people learn about how to do voiceovers? I, don't know. I think you have to. You have a natural inherent talent, or? Yeah, I mean, it's just uh, yeah. I think you kind of have to be naturally funny a little bit. First of all, I think there are plenty of people that are not and get plenty of work. But I, I think you get a little bit further along if you're if you have a sense of humor. Mm -hmm. And then just, I mean, your voice can do tons of stuff. Your voice can sound like a lot of different things, like anybody's kid. They just have to learn how to, how to work it, you know? So you can sound really low or really high or in the middle and just kind of change the rhythm of how you talk, and you can do a lot of different stuff. The first season of our show, um, I had to do tons of different voices because we couldn't afford to put a lot of people on the show because we just, our budgets, we spent them already, so... I had to do. I had to figure out voices that didn't sound like the other characters, and I had like four characters going on, or and I had to think of another two guys that didn't sound like any of those guys. <laughs> so then we, after <laughs> playing, you know, 